Well, Jake, mainly because the fire started on, uh, well, it rose up to the roof. And when the crews arrived shortly before two this morning, that fire was on the roof and they were concerned about it potentially caving in or spreading. That's why it was upgraded to a two alarm fire. Now, the scene here is pretty much clear, but take a look at your screen for some video from when our crews arrived shortly after uh, those fire crews actually arrived. So we do know the first calls came in just before midnight of the fire. We know multiple agencies responded, rented regional fire, Puget Sound fire among them. We know it, all, it took crews 40 minutes to get this fire under, contr uh, under control. Fire crews also tell us these are newer construction buildings, so they do have sprinkler suppression systems, but not sure if the sprinklers actually went off. That is still under a investigation. But again, the focus here was on that roof, preventing it from caving in. Take a listen. You want to make sure you investigate all the little uh, cracks and crevices to make sure there isn't any hidden fire because we want to make sure it's out and and something doesn't smolder for an hour or two and then and then have to come back to extinguish the fire. So again, those hot spots must be out because when we arrived about 40 minutes ago, there were no fire crews here. Uh, but we do know there was some damage to the two nearby businesses, Cajun Kitchen to the left of, of Vino at the landing and then Dozone at the right of it. They both uh, have water damage, we're told. But the cause of the fire is still under investigation. For now, they're reporting live here in Renton. Angela Cockaday, King 5 News.